Let me tell you about my tick encounter experience. I have two dogs. One is a beagle and she has free run of the yard and gets into mulch, gets into underneath the bushes, goes into areas where there are a lot of deer. And one night we were getting into bed and noticed what looked like poppy seeds had been strewn all over the bed. And when we went to pick one up, it actually popped and there was a spot of blood. And as we tried to wipe them up, we had more spots of blood. Um, so we pulled everything off, shook it out, washed it, put on new sheets, gave her a bath and left it at that. Thought it was some, we didn't know they were tick, any things. Um, just a few days later, she had something bleeding on her toe and I kind of scraped at it and it was a little poppy seed that when I looked under the microscope, it had six legs, had a little head and it had definitely attached to her. So I called, or sorry, I emailed to Tick Encounter. They were extremely quick in getting back to me and said that I probably had a tick larva and larva, larvae, I'm sorry, <laughs> infestation. And they came out to visit and, uh, and that's what it was. And we had had a few times, truly two to 400 little tiny things around our house, right here on the couch we would have them, um, anywhere where the dog would jump up. And it turns out that they were collecting in her feet where the canine advantage that she has wasn't actually getting. So even though the rest of her was protected by her tick stuff, it wasn't getting to her feet. And her feet were dragging in hundreds and hundreds of these little bugs into our house. And thankfully, Tick Encounter people came out and Dr. Mather and Brian are here to save the day. And what we're going to do is put a little bit of the Canine Advantix 2 into her feet and see if that gets rid of it because she does have actually all little tick larvae in her toenails, basically. So that's my story.